It's been requested of me to show the difference between the VLOOKUP function and the index match function. And I think by the end of this tutorial, you'll see why I think index match, while maybe slightly more difficult to learn, is by far the superior function. So let's go ahead and look at our data set here. Again, we're looking at salespeople, their January sales, and then a max min if then statement produces which was the worst results of the month and which was the best. And we see Laura is the best and Rob is the worst. However, we're going to assume that our data set is so large that we can't easily find the information that we need and we want to use the index match function to produce the worst salesperson. So if you want to watch a tutorial on how to do the index match function and a simple explanation of that, I will leave a uh, link to that video in the show notes. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and do the index match without much explanation of what I'm doing. Oops. We want to look up worst in this column. We'll add the extra parentheses, and we see we produce Rob and Laura with the index match function. Now that's really cool because we were looking up worst and we were trying to report back the salesperson name. The index match function let us do that even though this column was in front of the column that we wanted to report out. For VLOOKUP, you have to put the column that you want reported out further right than the column that you're searching in within. So in this case, if we wanted to produce the salesperson name in the VLOOKUP function, we have to put salesperson to the right of the column that we're looking for or, or the the information we're looking for we're looking for the worst and the best next so if we type in VLOOKUP we want to look up worst in this table array and we want to produce a result from the second column over and we get Rob and we get Laura. So we still get the same answer, but we've had to modify our data to accommodate the VLOOKUP function. Now the other interesting thing about index match and VLOOKUP is that if I insert columns or if I'm changing around my original data set, my index match function will continue to work, but my VLOOKUP function will get screwed up here. I'll show you. So if I'm inserting columns, Nothing gets screwed up with the index match, even though I'm inserting columns between the information I'm looking for and trying to report back. Now, however, if we interrupt the columns between a VLOOKUP, pay attention to Rob and Laura down here, we see that it no longer produced the correct results. And the reason it does that is because we told it to look over two columns, and now two columns over, there's nothing there. Whereas in the index match function, it doesn't matter how many cells or rows or columns you insert, you've only looked at two distinct columns. So regardless of what happens in between, doesn't really matter. So those are two distinct things that make the index match function far superior to VLOOKUP. The only real detriment I see to the index match function is that it's just slightly more difficult to learn, but you can again learn that from a uh, simplified breakdown of how to use the index match in one of my videos that I will link to in the show notes. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helps.